Hey loves and happy vlogmas day 19. So I'm getting ready to make a French onion um, pork chop casserole. And here's all the ingredients you're gonna need. So I have a 10 pack of pork chops here. Um, and they are the natural fresh pork chops and they are boneless. And I have 10 of those. Get ready to wash them off and put them here on a pan. So you wanna go ahead and get your pork chops and make sure they're boneless. And then you'll need a pan of your choice and you're gonna need some cheddar cheese. I have the mild cheddar cheese. If you wanna use sharp cheddar cheese, you can. I like mild cheddar cheese when it comes to casseroles. Um, and then you're gonna need the French onion dip. This is the start of the show. This is what's gonna give the pork chop all of the flavor, hence it being a French onion pork chop casserole. <laughs> the next thing you're gonna need are crispy onions. You guys, these are so good. So you're gonna need these for your casserole. Um, a lot of people like to use these for green bean casseroles like was displayed on the uh, display of the box. But yes, you wanna get yourself some crispy fried onions. They're good in salad too. And then of course some non-stick spray, got some olive oil non-stick spray. And then we got some salt and pepper, which is completely optional. You don't have to season your meat. Um, you can use an all-purpose seasoning or you can use salt and pepper if you want to, but it's not like required or anything because once you assemble your pork chops onto your pan, you're going to put your French onion dip on there, your cheddar cheese, your onion, and it's going to, when I tell you it's going to be amazing, it's going to be amazing. <laughs> so you really want me eating, you really don't need any seasoning unless you just want to use it. So it's optional. Um, and then we're going to have it with a side of broccoli and cauliflower. It's been a minute since we had cauliflower. And I believe this will be baby girl's first time having cauliflower. So I'm really excited to um, have her try it. And so, yeah, this is going to be dinner tonight. <laughs> also, this pork chop casserole is really good with Brussels sprouts. Or you can do a side salad. Or you can just do plain broccoli. It's up to you. So, yeah, let me go ahead and rinse the meat and get to cooking. I'm just going to go ahead and start ripping off my pork chops. And people have different ways that they rinse their meat. I rinse mine with sometimes salt water, sometimes vinegar. Um, it really just depends. But I'm just using some plain H2O. Just want to rinse them off really good. And again, you want the pork chops that are boneless. And you guys will have to excuse this robe that I still have on. This is the cliffhanger to yesterday's vlog when I told you guys I was going to cook and I was going to get in here and tap this closet. So we're about to do all of that today. <laughs> and I'm going to take this robe off, honey, because it is a hot mess. It's got sticky stuff all over it from just being at home and being a mom. So y'all just bear with me. Have y'all been letting your faucets drip for the winter time? I've been reminding myself to, to let my faucets drip and open my cabinets. <laughs> Here's what the pork chops are looking like assembled on the pan. And you can use a dipper dish if you want to, um, which I actually have a casserole uh, pan, but I'm allowing it to soak right now because I used it the other night and so it needs to soak. But um, here are the pork chops, all 10 of them. And now what we wanna do is take just a little pepper and a little salt. And like I said, this is optional. You don't have to use salt and pepper. Um, I like to use a little salt and pepper because I always feel like it's meat. It still needs some kind of seasoning. <laughs> Maybe it's just a Southern thing. I'm so used to my meat being seasoned. Um, so you can season it with a little salt and pepper. And I also like to use this other, um, this other seasoning. It starts with an I, I think it's called adobo. Um, is how you pronounce it. But you guys know I use this seasoning all the time and I put it up on the screen for you guys. Um, the kids love it on um, 
I'm going to put this in my hand so I don't overdo the salt. But the kids love that seasoning on all kind of vegetables. So if you are wondering what kind of seasoning to use on veggies, I would recommend the adobo seasoning or adobo, however it's pronounced. So I'm just going to flip it over. And I did already spray my pan with my non-stick non -stick spray here. This is one of my favorite uh, non-stick sprays. And I like the one that's uh, for avocado as well. So I'm gonna season the other side with a little salt and pepper. And again, really optional. It looks like I'm using a lot of pepper, y'all, but I'm really not. It's barely coming out. <laughs> okay, and then of course the salt goes in my hand. Don't wanna overdo that. All right. And so now that we got that, I'm gonna go ahead and get a butter knife so I can spread out our uh, French onion dip. So you wanna go ahead and open up your French onion dip. And I am so ready to go tackle this closet, you guys, and finish getting the house together. <clears throat> for the holidays. I cannot believe Christmas is this Sunday. The kids are out on holiday break. It's officially their holiday break. I think they go back January the 5th, the 3rd. Between the 2nd and the 5th, they go back to school. And so I'm really enjoying this quality time with them and just getting the house all festive. If we should have any, you know, visitors as far as family and things like that. We have plans to go and um, spend Christmas over to my mom's house. It's kind of a tradition. Um, she loves cooking on that holiday. She takes completely over. <laughs> so that's a little bit of our plans. Open gifts here and then go to her house. But right now what, what I'm doing is I'm spreading all of the French onion dip onto the, um, the um, pork chops. And I'm not going to use this French onion dip for anything else because I am rubbing the French onion dip on the meat and sticking it back in here so no worries this is not gonna this French onion dip is not gonna be used for anything else it is strictly for these pork chops is the reason I bought it and so I'm doing it on one side and I'm also gonna flip it over and do it on the other side You just want to go ahead and coat your pork chops with your French onion dip all over, nicely and coated. Alright, so now that I've got my pork chops seasoned, now that I've got my pork chops coated with our French onion dip, I'm going to go ahead and um, put some cheese on top. And I'm gonna do it halfway because Trey really has a thing with cheese. So I'm gonna leave at least three without cheese on it. But you wanna go ahead and put your cheese on top. And this is what brings the casserole together, the cheese. And I'm really hoping when it cooks, it doesn't boil over or anything in the oven. You wanna set your oven to 350 degrees and you wanna cook the pork chops until they are done or 30 to 40 minutes. 30 to 40 minutes or until the pork chops are done. And yeah, so I'm gonna leave at least three done. And so yeah, you wanna make sure that it's nicely coated with the cheese and that should be enough. And so if you're into measurements, you can use a half a cup of cheese. You can use a half a cup of your French onion dip if you're into measurements. I personally eyeball my food, okay? That's how you know you can cook. <laughs> and so the next thing you want to go ahead and get is your French onion, um, is your fried onions. Okay. And you want to go ahead and start assembling. You want to go ahead and start putting your fried onions on top. And this casserole is bomb, y'all. A good way to do pork chops. I've made these before on my channel and um, the kids love it as well. It's, it has a really nice cheesy crunch to it. And so if you make it exactly like this, it'll come out right every time. Now, if you don't want to put the um, French onion dip on both sides of your pork chops, that's totally fine. 
I just like mine to be extra creamy. And so yeah, we're just gonna put this on top. Sure, we got enough on there. We love ours extra saucy and extra crunchy. I mean, it's majority of it. All right, and now this can go in the oven again for 30 to 40 minutes or until the pork chops are done. All right well done and so yeah that is how you make a french onion pork chop casserole and here's how the pork chops turn out really really nice golden and brown crispy the crunch on it is amazing you guys Here's an update on the closet. So this is what the closet looked like on yesterday. Here's how everything was kind of like bunched together and all over the place. And I'm gonna go and get um, some organizers for this closet in particular because this is the closet that gets, yeah, mama, good morning. <laughs> this is the closet that gets like a lot of high traffic as far as like it being where we keep our holiday um, items as well as um the kiddos like things that they like to do so this is after i got everything kind of like together and it may not look like much of a difference but you guys it is better than what it looked before so um yeah that's an update on the haul closet i hope you all enjoy cooking with me and i will see you tomorrow okay.